Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography. Now, as you know, last week, myself and Gary Goff hiked up this mountain and filmed a vlog and it was, it's been so far an incredible day. But we're wild camping, we are taking photographs and vlogging, so we're carrying a lot of gear. So I thought it would be pretty useful to you and you'd find it interesting to see what exactly I've got in my camera bag and it is a wild camping edition. First thing I have is the tent. That's right on the top. That is a OEX Evolution 1. It's a nice tent. I shall set it up in a minute in a fine time-lapse fashion for you. Um, but I've got walking poles on the side here and they're pretty handy for all sorts of things when you're camping. You can stake them into the ground and use them as a tent pole and you can use them as walking sticks as well. So they're pretty handy. When you're out on a warm sunny day like today, it does still get cold at night, so you need some warm clothing, which I shall be putting on in a minute. I've got this hoodie that's not that interesting though. Where should we start? Right, let's go into this bit here. Now, we'll talk about the camping stuff first before we talk about the actual camera gear, because I have had to make some sacrifices with the camera gear. So, first and foremost, you're gonna need a ground sheet of some description. It's a self-inflating one, it's three quarter length, so it's a bit smaller and you're gonna need that because of this hard, rocky ground. You're not gonna get a good night's sleep even with a tent. Food, obviously a inflatable pillow, water. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about water in a minute. And I've got these sort of military style ration packs, which I shall be cooking up very shortly. I've then got a cooking pot and a stove inside there as well. Nice and compact. That's what you need for this sort of thing. I knew it wasn't going to be very windy so I did not want to sacrifice the drone. You will have seen probably already some drone footage that I've taken and just unbelievable, unbelievable drone footage in this sort of weather. You don't often get to fly drones this high up. I'm at 900 meters at the moment with just this stunning view behind me so yeah that's that. What else have we got? We've got some stuff on the front here. This, now water. If you are camping it's going to be really difficult to carry enough water to get you through. On a hot day like this you're going to need a lot so I've got this little squeezy thing here. You put this end into the water and then it squeezes out water, relatively fresh drinkable water out the other side. It doesn't take viruses out but it does take bacteria out and you can literally just drink it straight from the stream so that is extremely handy. Water, I've got a tea towel, uh, tissue. I've got a tea towel because you might need to dry something off if it rains at any point. Then I've got a hat because it might get cold and I've got a warm coat in there which I'm not going to get out at the moment because it's just so beautiful. I might need that in the night though. Right, camera gear. Ugh. The bag is so heavy. It weighed about 20 kilos today when I had all the water and food on board and it was really, really difficult getting up here with this. And that's one of the problems with filming and taking photographs and wild camping at the same time. However, it's been worth it. Right, camera gear with this S-Stop bag. It gets it all in. I have had to make some sacrifices today with the camera gear I normally take. I like to have as many lenses as I possibly can carry with all ranges from sort of 16, 17 millimeters right up to 200. So what I've done, because I knew I wanted to capture this, capture this scene behind me, is I have sacrificed the 24 to 17. So I've got the Canon 5D Mark IV with the 17 to 40 millimeter lens on there at the moment. And I also have the 70 to 200. I think this is gonna come in very handy while I'm up here because just getting close tight in on those mountains is gonna be what I'm gonna do, I think. And that's gonna be the tool for that. GoPro, very small and light, easy to carry around. And then I've got extra batteries, adding weight. I've got microphones, extra batteries for the phone, which funnily enough, I need to plug in if I'm going to fly the drone at some point soon. Let's do that. I've got a couple of filters and then extra drone batteries and I got a bit of coffee 
to make a hot drink. If you're cloud camping like this, especially if it's cold, getting the stove on and having a hot drink can really lift the spirits and keep you going. I've got a bit of sugar and a bit of salt in there as well, just in case. Tripod as well, that adds weight. The camera's on the tripod now. I have traveled as light as I possibly can, so. And that's it, nice and cozy. That is where I'll be sleeping tonight, sleeping bag, pillow, a little tea towel to cover the pillow. It's a bit softer, floor mat because of this hard, rocky ground. And then the bag will fit in that little space there. We are going to be spending the evening or the night with this view here. And it's just magical, absolutely magical. We've got our two tents set up there. <laughs> Looks like fun, doesn't it? So. We're going to get a few pictures taken, I think, because the light is just starting to come into sort of golden hour time. Then we'll get a pot on, have some dinner and uh, get up nice and early for the sunrise because it's really misty. I'm really, really hopeful that that is going to sink into the valley and we'll get, we'll wake up to something quite spectacular. But if you want to see that, you need to watch again on Sunday. Wild camping, heavy, but it's worth it in the end. It's going to be a good night images around hopefully the wind will blow them away but uh, yeah I think I'm excited basically so give it a try be mindful of your surroundings it's not strictly speaking legal to wild camp so just bear that in mind you need to be respectful to your surroundings respectful to other people who want to enjoy this scenery whether they're camping or not that's it just a nice quick video for Wednesday I want to start putting more videos out like this please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you watch that video on Sunday because Oh, I'm excited about the morning. Right, I'm Adam. This is First Man Photography in the stunning Lake District. Out.